From Courtney claiming her sister stole her entire wedding aesthetic to Chloe choosing Kim over her once again. This is Courtney Kardashian revealing how Kim Kardashian really treats her behind closed doors. Courtney accused her younger sister Kim of being dissatisfied with her happiness. It's old news that wherever the multimillionaire sisters go, drama follows. Remember all those rumors that things were tense between Courtney and Kim? Yeah, we found out what's going on. Their TV show, The Kardashians, doesn't hold back when it comes to tension between the sisters. Sugar's not healthy. Let's do not the nasty stuff with food coloring and all like gross shit. There's just better solutions instead of your dated. Turns out, Court clapped back at Kim, who she claimed stole her entire wedding idea for a campaign, just to bring in as much money as she could. She also accused some of her family members of having no interest in her personal happiness because Kim stole her Italian wedding idea for a Dolce and Gabbana's fashion show in Milan. Since a Kardashian wedding is a headliner, I'm sure you noticed Courtney and Travis Barker got married in Italy too. And it wasn't your average wedding. It was a lavish display thrown by Domenico Dolce and Stefano Gabbana back in May 2022. And besides that, they also designed Courtney's wedding dress and styled the entire Kardashian family in deluxe outfits. It wasn't just any celebrity event, it was the event to be at, to the point where Hulu dropped an entire televised wedding special about it. Switching over to another headliner, you also might recall that Kim was the face of Dolce & Gabbana in September 2022, just a couple of months after the wedding, to be specific, and turns out Courtney was pissed. Which brings us to the Kardashians trailer. Besides stating that her sister used her wedding as a business opportunity during a confessional, Kim also asked Chloe if Courtney's mad at her, to which Chloe replied that she's not just mad, but she's livid. Kendall also added that Courtney felt like her wedding vibes were stripped from her, and it didn't feel original anymore. But while Courtney was visibly seething at this, even though Kim doesn't get it, she was totally clueless about why her sister's so upset and said that she's confused about how that idea even got into her head. It's totally absurd. According to her, though, she couldn't have been more mindful about not stealing the spotlight from her sister and was careful not to do anything which would resemble what Courtney wore to her wedding. But Courtney sees it in a very different way. Court even claimed that she completely ripped off her entire wedding and that Kim's slogan for the collection, which was living la dolce vita, was her wedding slogan, and how she's lived her life every summer for five years in a row. She also mentioned that she didn't really care about the collaboration at first until their mom, Kris Jenner, told the family to promote the D&G collaboration on social media in their family group chat, which really triggered her. So now, it wasn't just Kim she was upset at, but also Chris, since she didn't get what was majorly wrong with the whole thing either. According to Courtney, if she did the same thing to Kim, she'd be super freaked out. So keeping that in mind, it was even more personal for her, and she felt backstabbed because it was her wedding. But Kim still decided to go ahead with it the same year it happened. Prepping for the Kim Dolce & Gabbana show. We're doing fittings and everything's kind of crazy here in the showroom right now. She wouldn't even be mad if it was just a money thing. And Kim did a campaign right after hers because, let's be real, that's business. The reason why it really ticked her off was because the whole thing was really personal to her. But apparently, Kim didn't care enough about her wedding to be considerate about it. Because as it turns out, she wasn't even happy during the occasion. According to Courtney, her sister couldn't care less. While everyone else was having fun and enjoying themselves, she complained that Kim didn't even acknowledge how amazing it was. She even went as far as to say that Kim saw everything she had there and took it for granted. All she sees is the money she can make, the dollar signs. But for Courtney, she really noticed that she wasn't happy and present during the wedding. And that's not just her impression, because she mentioned that everyone said something similar to her, and all her friends told her that Kim was spiraling. Turns out, there's a lot where that came from. Courtney also revealed that the fight was based on their competitive nature and said that Kim was never satisfied because nothing was enough for her since she always finds ways to make more money and never turns anything down, no matter who gets hurt along the way. Kim clearly doesn't feel any remorse because she didn't even reach out to Courtney to clear it up. Court mentioned that she doesn't even think Kim feels bad or thought twice about the whole situation. She told Chloe that it stemmed from them being 18 months apart and having a more competitive relationship with each other. 
But still, Courtney made it a point to mention that Kim has no sense of loyalty and she's almost greedy. She said Kim's selfish to her very core and is intolerable to even have a conversation with. But on the other hand, she admitted that she's been putting off talking to Kim about it. In an episode of The Kardashians, she complained that Kim's on her phone the whole time and since she barely looks up, it's really hard to engage with her, and it makes Court want to run the other way. But while Courtney's losing tears over this feud, Kim says that she couldn't have been more considerate of her sister. Despite what it looks like, she said that she didn't even intend on working with Dolce & Gabbana so soon after Courtney's wedding. According to Kim, she had a whole email chain with D&G, in which she practically begged them to delay the collaboration so it wouldn't clash with the wedding. She revealed that she'd always wanted to be respectful of Courtney and didn't want to do any of her looks even if she loved them. That's why she didn't do the Madonna collection, nor the lace one, all because Courtney would get offended. But if both of them were apparently being mindful of each other, where'd things go wrong? Well, it did get a little messy when Kim called Courtney the diva of all divas for making a fuss over the business deal. It went even further when Kim put another brand on her sister, calling her a hater. And what's worse is that she talked to her friends about it. She said that Courtney got all mad saying she was trying to copy her, but she always tried to hate on the side. When the two sisters finally sat down together to settle things, Kim brought up the fact that Court was actually the one who stole her Italian Dolce Vita wedding idea. She stated that she got married in Italy, but she doesn't blame Courtney for copying her by doing the same thing. She stole her wedding country and had the same performer at her wedding. And after all that, she still has the nerve to say that she's the one who copied her Dolce Vita lifestyle. Make it make sense. So now that you've heard both stories, who are the rest of the Kardashian sisters siding with? Well, Chloe seems to be for Team Kim. While talking to her sister, she said that Courtney's texts were crazy and irrational. She also complimented Kim, saying that Domenico had found the most magical Dolce and Gabbana muse in her sister. Besides her, Kendall and Kylie are neutral about the whole fiasco. Kendall feels Courtney's emotions are valid and that she sees both sides of the situation. I didn't really think it was a joke. Like, when we were getting in the car, she immediately put her feet up on my center console. But wasn't going to take sides to stay away from the drama. The youngest in the clan, Kylie, also has the same stance and says that she doesn't think either of them is wrong. So, from Chloe choosing Kim over her once again, to Court claiming her sister stole her entire wedding aesthetic, that was Kourtney Kardashian revealing how Kim Kardashian really treats her behind closed doors.